I'm Julianne Neal, and I'm so happy to be here today with Michelle Holland, calling all the way from the UK, right? Hi. <laughs> Michelle, I'm so happy to speak with you. We're going to be talking about your book series that's been submitted for the festival, The Adventures of Bella and Emily. And there's the, the first book in the series, and then there's Adventures in Devon, and then Devon Revisited. And so what an exciting thing. Can you tell us a little bit about the project and what made you start it? How did you get started with that? Well, initially, it's because I used to be involved with rescuing ponies, and um, I just decided to maybe bring that whole episode of my life into books. And the main character is obviously called uh, Bella, who's a New Forest Rescue pony, but she's actually a pony that I did rescue, and I've still got her. She's 22 years old now, so yeah. Oh, well, I can imagine she's quite proud of herself that now that she's famous and everything. Oh, yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you know, young adult fiction, there's there's a lot of it out there, but I don't see that many books or many series that are horse related. So I think it's wonderful that that that's a genre that you're you're reaching out to that audience. What's been your feedback from the young adult readers that you've come into contact with? Have you heard back uh, from anyone? Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, my books at the moment have got over, I think it's 155 stars just on Amazon. That's not including Goodreads. And yeah. it's just so lovely when I get an email or a letter. I've got pictures that young children have drawn thinking that they're actually Emily in the book. Uh, but I've had little poems written. Um, yeah, that, that's what inspires me because, you know, in the books as well, it's not all about the rescue and how to care for a pony. There's a lot of adventure, there's fundraising. So it's behind the scenes of the rescue. So what I wanted to do was get that through to the audience that there's so many ponies and horses that need rescuing and the rescue centers are full and they need help and support too. Absolutely. Well, the covers, the illustrations are just beautiful. I have to ask, is is that how Bella looks actually in real life? <laughs> it is indeed, yes, even though she's a bit naughtier than what she looks on the front of these books. <laughs> well, I think ponies just generally are, you know, that's a generalization, yeah. I guess, but um, I know quite a few naughty ponies. So Yeah, so well, she does make cool. me laugh. That's the main thing. She's that's worth exactly it. exactly right. Well, what's been the most rewarding part of the project for you? I, it sounds like rescue is a, is a big part of that, but it, is that the most rewarding part or is there something else that, that has been really nice? Yeah, well, what I decided to do with the first book was to donate uh, the profits to five rescue organisations. Uh, one's in Ireland uh, called Leinster. There's the Brook working for uh, horses and donkeys. Uh, Helping Paws is a local cause. Uh, there's another one called the Animal Retreat and another really lovely one called the Horse World Trust in Bristol. So what I decided to do was split the profits between those five. And up to date, I've raised £2,876.53. Wow. Well, I have to say the Brook is a special thing to my heart as well. I'm hosting a podcast for Brook USA, which is the organization's sister organization here in the United States. And um, one of the podcast guests that's, that will be coming up is Jane Rodham Holderness, um, who is there in the UK and, and has been very instrumental in bringing the Brook to the United States. So that's a wonderful organization. I'm yeah, so happy they, to hear that you're doing that. Yeah, they do a fantastic job. And my, my dream would be to sell probably 2 million copies of my books and then I can just donate the money to, oh, wow. you know, the, my, my chosen rescue. So yes. that would be my dream. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. So what else would you like for the audience for the Echoes Film Festival to know about the book series? Is there anything else you want to spread? Well, oh, yeah, I mean, I think I've got lots more books inside my head, but at the moment, you know, I'm working full time. I've got two rescue ponies now, three oh. rescue dogs. Uh, so, you know, I would just love to sit and write all day, but I, I've got to you know, concentrate mainly on promoting the six books of the Pony series that I've got at the moment. Yes, yes. Well, in the book, Emily is sort of having to convince her parents that having a pony at all is a good idea too. So did you go through that as a child? Was Is any of this from personal experience? Yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, when I was young, I was doing everything, paper rounds and things like that to prove that I could do it in, you know, in any weather, you know, 365 days a year. Uh, I think it's just getting that 
commitment if you've got that commitment and that dream just follow your dream and it will come true absolutely well great how can people re- read about you or learn more about the book series i know we'll have equa shopper and the festival will we'll have the sale pages up too but if they want to just find out more about you where can they find you online well, I've got a website, www.michelleholland.co.uk. Uh, the Adventures of Bella and Emily have also got a, a Facebook page uh, with over 5,000 followers, which is great. So, and that's great fun as well. So, yeah, please, please feel free to get in touch. And I just love hearing feedback. So, you know, if I can make children happy and adults as well, they've been reading the books and it's taken them back to their childhood. So if you want a lighthearted read that's fun, and ad- lots of adventures then yeah definitely please buy one of my books <laughs> definitely yes well we'll de- we'll spread the word so is the facebook page from bella's point of view <laughs> it, it is i mean what we, yeah i mean what we do on there is we do put different posts up you know some from the organizations that i'm you know donating money to so we're really sharing the the, the word of rescue uh, along with beautiful photos that are posted twice a day Wonderful. Uh, Well, I can't wait to follow along. Thank you so much for being with us, Michelle. Oh, thank you for having me. It's it's an honor. Thank you. Yes. And we look forward to next year when we're doing more in person. Maybe you can travel over and and come and sit with us and we'll all talk talk literature. (laughs) That would be a dream come true to me. Great. Well, thank you, Michelle. Have a great day and give give a carrot to Bella. I will do. Thank you. (laughs) Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.